Hello again. A new day, a new fixing. Hopefully, <laughs> uh, here we have a board, a motherboard from a gas heater. You see, here are some relays commanding different pumps and different motors inside the gas uh, heater. And uh, the point with this one is that sometimes the switch from the heating circuit to the hot water is not properly connecting or disconnecting in fact you know i can't do too much here but so far i can see some uh, motor damage in this area i don't know if it's dangerous anyway there are two diodes over there a little bit rusty let me show you right here i want to clean that check them and um, I'm going to replace the capacitors and check each of them. Also, I will check the power supply because here we have a 7805. That means the microcontroller uh, is supplied with 5 volts. Maybe some other voltages for the relays. So we have two secondaries of 9 volts. 1.4 watts these relays are working with 24 volts it will be nothing spectacular this time because i can't check this uh, board uh, except you know just to plug it into the gas heater itself there is a replacement board a new one and they are so damn expensive i can tell you that if this one is coming back to life it will be really really nice it saves a lot of money this belongs to a friend of mine like usually <laughs> it's not for money <laughs> but i love beers <laughs> let's check the area where the water damages are present and i'm gonna use some contact spray okay and a brush or maybe it was just a little moisture that's fine as you can see the board it's very clean i shouldn't be worried about we can check the diodes on place those diodes doesn't need any special treatment from my experience you know a burn diode oh, not so <laughs> often anyway multimeter in uh, diode mode that's good this is good well, you'll ask me, where are my k weights multimeters? <laughs> you know something? They are gone. <laughs> Why? Because a lot of people saw that and they asked me if I can send them uh, for uh, Christmas. And I had those. They are pretty new. I didn't use them too often, so they are gone. Christmas presents. Don't forget, k weights still have those uh, multimeters on stock. So just check the link in the description and you'll have a discount, of course. All right, so I'm still using my old, you know, this is like 25, I know, I, I think it's more than 25 years old. Still running. Just checking the diodes. Yeah, I know. Checking diodes is just a waste of time, but you'll never know. At least the ones in parallel with relays, those can be a problem sometime. Those diodes are for transient current voltages, which... Uh, can be really dangerous for the electronic for the commanding electronic yes everything's fine here let's take a look to those one two three transistors here shouldn't be any mess okay that's interesting what is this bt14 something this is similar no what about this guy here i think this is a resistor or something t hash t hash one i think this is a resistor and that's a transistor that's another T has to another terrestrial maybe oh yeah it's very possible to have some terrestrial or triac the ones commanding the lightning spark you see here the fire spark or ignition how you call it operationals well let's proceed and check the capacitors let me start with this side here like always rosin flux I got so used to erosion flux so I can't get rid of it. Nothing gonna change my love for you. <laughs> you know, remember that song? Okay, let's get this guy out. TS100, 330 degrees. Let's check this guy. So we have a 
Okay, one micro to 400 volts. Whoa. And look here. Yes, sir. 90 ohms. 90 ohms. Can you believe this? <laughs> this is nuts. I can't believe it. It's the first one, you know, got in and we already have a problem here. Let me check some ESR charts. We have to be sure about, but for me, it's way too much, way. Oh, come on, sunshine, please. You are so welcome. Look there, guys. Maybe I got some solar production. December was absolutely not that 25 kilowatts for the whole month <laughs> okay i said i'm looking for some esr chart let's check this one so we have one microfarads 200 okay it should be around 30 ohms let me try another chart one micro to 400 and 40 3.6 ohms but not 90 oh this is so bad very clear first one first bad capacitor so maybe i should try 3.3 at 400 anyway so this is in the air i can say i have to write this down let's not forget about but before anything let's have this Okay, there we are, my dear. This is so gone. 1.7 ohms, of course. Okay, let's go to the next one. Maybe I'll find some. Let's check this little guy here. 220 on 10 volts. Okay. Let's see about this guy. Okay, 1.9 ohms. We should have 0 0.6 ohms. And we have 1.9 ohms. Well, it doesn't look good. That one is also out of question. Oh, look here. I already got one. Oh, excuse me, my dear. 0 0.63. No, that one, is, this one is better. This should go in place replacing that guy and we got a plus and we got the mic beautiful and now i have to do a little trick here there we go perfect fit okay next this little guy here all right and we have a 47 micro, 25 volts. Okay. 10 ohms. Are you kidding me? This is so gone. Okay, by the chart, 47 at 47 at uh, 25 volts. We should have around 2.9 ohms. And we have 12 another one bites the dust if there is 25 volts for a capacitor that means we have another voltage at least 24 volts here there we go 47 with 25 0 89 yeah this is better much better we have the plus there and the minus the other side okay let's make it good let's check if it's passing from one side to another yeah this is good but i still don't like it yeah now it's okay now it's fine so this is new this is new let's try this guy i love the rosin smell 0 14 140 ohms so this is a uh, okay another one micro at 400 volts 
same story here which I don't have it so this have to wait okay we clean this area let's go the other side I got three more here these are for mostly for filtering for the power supply and this is 440 at 25 volts let's see how it's looking like Zero thirty-five. Yeah, I was sure these are usually pretty okay because the, these guys are working. It's kind of a routine, so it was okay. Four hundred and forty at uh, twenty volts. We should have around zero point one to two, and we have zero thirty-five. Okay, you are out. We need a replacement twenty-five volts. It can be one thousand. Doesn't hurt. Oh, this is nuts. I don't have one. Okay, let me try my boards. Okay, I can use this one. 1000 at 35 volts. Perfect. Even better. If I have enough space. Yeah, of course. But before having this back in place, let me check the other little guys. Oh my, 47, 5.6 ohms, 47 and 25 volts, okay, uh, yeah, 47 micro at 35 volts, even better, perfect, let's see. 0 0.31 ohms, 0 0.07, 0 0.07 in fact. Yeah, this is very good, very, very good. So this one can safely go back in place, minus and plus. Okay, but let me take this out too, to have much larger place for maneuver. And let's check this guy too. This is a... 150 volts, 1 ohm, 150 volts should be 0 0.3, this is gone also, but let's start with this guy, plus it's here, minus it's there, soldering in here, oh yes, any short, no, we are good so now the big boy up here where is that this guy right here it was 150 volts let me measure this again okay so that's it for today it's amazing all these capacitors are out of specification of course this board it's like uh, 15 years old or something I was expecting that because this is the usual defect, if I may say. The electrolytic capacitors are dried or anyway, they are losing the capacity or they are getting a higher uh, ESR, equivalent serial resistor. And uh, for now, it's nothing else to do. I don't have the parts to complete this uh, this operation as soon as i have the parts we can have a proper test you know measuring the voltages and some other stuffs thank you for now like usually i hope it's useful and uh, please subscribe i'm close to 5000 subscribers thank you very much people for everybody who's uh, celebrating christmas merry christmas to you and uh, of course the new year's eve is coming the same story <laughs> and uh, I hope for a better year in 2023 and um, 
What else? Of course, <laughs> don't forget, have fun. Bye-bye.